Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm gonna unbox, show you, and talk about this awesome item right here. Sorry about the weird little sticker that they put on this, but it is what it is. Got a little bit of a better deal for the box being damaged, even though it's not so much damaged in my opinion. It was brand new when I bought it, but I did get this from Amazon. Got it through their warehouse deals. Um, it was listed as a brand new item. The box was sealed. Everything's new. Just they said there was damage to the to the box. So I got a little bit of a deal on it, which is pretty cool. I already own these and I've owned a set of these for a couple years now and I just love them. But what the point of these are, and these are by TP-Link, they are power line adapters and this is a starter kit. It comes with two of them. What the point of these are is that Say, for example, you have a Wi-Fi modem and you can't really run your Ethernet connections because it's too far and you don't want to run wiring through the house. You don't run, you know, run all those cables and all that, you know, and it's pretty pricey to buy long cables. With these, it saves you from the hassle of just as an example, just quick little story time. Where I live, I've been here for a few years. We got Fios uh, service through Verizon. It's now called Frontier, or Frontier took over anyway. But when they set up everything, the modem was, was installed in the garage. So what was going on was my connection was getting weak on the top floors. We live in a townhouse. There's a garage, second floor, which is kitchen, living room, all that wonderful stuff. Third floor is laundry room and bedrooms and, and, and all that jazz. So the second and third floor, we'd get a very weak signal, and we complained, complained. They sent us, you know, their, their upgraded modem, and we still had the same issue. So essentially what happened was I, I figured, you know what, I don't need the modem in the garage. There's no point to it. I'll put it on the second floor. Did that. Everything was good. But then you would get a really good connection on the second floor, and the garage or on the third floor would be weak. You know, still manageable, but weak. So over time, I discovered these. I bought a set of them, plugged them in, and just loved them. Recently bought another set because I have a, few, a little more need for them now. But I'll show you how these work, unbox them, show you how to set them up, or you know, just describe quick setup because it's very simple. This is not complicated whatsoever. And I'll show you a pretty, uh, a little comparison of what my Wi-Fi on my PC, which is located in my garage, what my connection is on Wi-Fi, and then what my connection is being on one of these guys. The service that I pay for, I get 50 by 50 MBS through uh, Frontier Fios, and it's pretty decent. Typically, from my experience through Wi-Fi, I'll get, if I'm lucky, half of that, maybe a lot less than half of that at times. Never get full speed, you know, even with the proper, you know, you know, adapters and whatnot that support the speeds and, you know, the modem and whatnot. Never typically get the highest speeds. With these guys, I get pretty damn near close. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open these guys up. Show you what they are, how they work, what they come with, all that wonderful stuff. So in your box... This is the starter kit. You get two of them. Now, if now as long as you have one of these already set up, you could buy multiple starter kits if you need more. One of these is not designated as you know the the setup one versus the other. Both of them work identical, so you could buy multiple starter kits if you need them. But the way it works is, you get these two guys. They both have a Ethernet port on the bottom. Pretty nice. And underneath that, you should get a couple Ethernet cables. Got that. A little tech support guide. A little resource CD. And then a plug and play quick start guide. Um, to, pretty much the way these, these are explained in here is that you pair them. So to create a secure power line network, press the pair button on one adapter, press the pair button on another. So pretty much any of them that you set up 
when you buy additional ones, you just gotta press the pair button on the one that's plugged into the the modem, and then plug the pair button on the new one that you're setting up. I've honestly never had to pair them. They've all just worked out of the box for me, but maybe for you it would be different. For me, I've set several of these up, never have had to pair them. They just automatically worked for some reason. So essentially the way these work is, is you take one of them, plug it into a power outlet in your wall, as close as possible to where you have your modem set up, and then plug in you know, one of your cables to that bad boy, and plug in the other to your modem. Now that's setting up the connection through the power line. And then you're pretty much good to go. And then from there, you'll plug this into any power outlet in your wall that's close to a device that you want to get your, your Ethernet speed out of, your full wired speed. So for example, you know, if you're playing on your consoles, your video game systems, PS4, Xbox, you're doing some streaming on your PC, doing some, some file transfers, setting up a, a Raspberry Pi, transferring over a, a large amount of gigabytes worth of data, this is gonna be awesome for you. These have saved me time beyond belief in my opinion, the greatest thing ever. If I wanted Frontier to come out and give me another modem, they want to try to sell me, you know, set, saying, oh, well, we have to set up the modem. You can't do it yourself. We're going to charge you $85 just to set it up, which I already know is nonsense. I could set it up myself. But they will want to charge you 85 bucks to come out, and then they want to charge you $10 a month to, to rent a modem from them for Second Connect service. Um, or you could just buy a modem from them, which is a couple hundred bucks. Ridiculous. I bought this set, warehouse deals from Amazon, for around $22. Typically, you can find these for anywhere around, you know, 25 to 35 bucks. These ones are 500 MBS, you know, capable. I'm pretty sure that's what these ones are. Yep, 500 MBS. They do make smaller, you know, capability ones. I will never need 500, but the price is right, so I figured why not? They're the same ones I already own. They also make, I believe, 100 MBS and whatnot. Not a lot of people can use, you know, the exact specifications that these these come with, you know, or utilize that, but they'll still work with any any speed that you got. If you got 50 by 50, which is what I have, 25 by 25, whatever, whatever, whatever it is that, that your service provides, these will work for you. So I highly recommend these. I wasn't really gonna do a video on these guys, but I just think they're so awesome. I have them plugged into all my devices that I'm doing some heavy, you know, heavy work on as far as uploads and downloads. And it just makes life a lot easier for me. So I highly recommend these guys. Link will be in the description. Real quick, I'm gonna show my Wi-Fi speed versus my speed connected to this. So let's take a look. So here we go, testing our speed on my Wi-Fi connection. So obviously this is gonna be different for everybody. It'll actually vary for myself as well. But just to get a decent idea of what the difference is between the wired connection through the TP-Link power line adapter and what my Wi-Fi will be. So right now my download is at 6.5, which is garbage. A lot of times I get higher than that, but you guys know how, you know, internet service works. Sometimes your connection will be faster, sometimes slower. Many variables. My upload speed is is looking pretty decent, 30.2. Not bad. Now we're checking the wired connection and see what she's going to do. And there's going to be variances on the wired connection as well. But as we're seeing here, we're having a steady download speed it's it's not struggling at all it kind of jumped up right away sitting at f about 42 not bad it's a lot closer to my actual speed i pay for my upload speed going pretty steady as well no dips in and out but like i said as well this could vary 37.9 well in closing guys just want to say the link is in my description if this item interests you they do have, looking at the listing on Amazon, a 200 MBS version for $24.99. Then the version I have is $34.99. Can't go wrong with those prices, I think, for what they're capable of doing. 
hopefully if this suits your needs, you'll take a look. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank y'all. Boom.